Well, what is that? A suggestion? Awesome. Hello buddy, I'm DT and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this extremely simple design for an item sorter. Now like you guys saw in the beginning of the video, this was a suggestion from ZombieGamer09. So thank you ZombieGamer09 so much for the idea. This video exists because of you. So now this is how you build this item sorter. Oh wait, wait, wait. I see there's a few of you guys out there like, wait a minute, where's my shadow? You said I just have to comment. That's right. So also, thanks Thirth. The Bay 5 leader for the GG's. I'm horrible at pronouncing names. I think I got that right. The Thieve. What? No, it's The Thieve 5 leader. Thanks for the GG's. Yes, I see boy XX. I do have Java. That is epic. Also, thanks for the congrats on 32 subs. Okay, The Thieve leader. I guess you wanted more than one shout out. Also, what does this mean? I am on the grind? I've only heard of I'm under the grind. You're gonna need to tell me what this means. So there are the shoutouts. <laughs> Before I show you guys how to build this design, I just want to mention that only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos actually hit the subscribe button. I mean, look at that! So if you guys do like what I do, then please do try to help me make this line higher than this line. Even if I get close, that brings a smile to my face. Oh, also, a few weeks ago, I finally hit my goal of 30 subscribers, which is amazing. But now I have a goal of 50 subscribers before the end of February. Half of 100. That's crazy. So if you guys make that possible, then thank you guys so much. Okay, on with the tutorial. Oh, wait, 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 not the tutorial yet. First, I need to show you how this actually works. So this is the input chest, and these are the output chests. There are seven sorted output chests, and then this is for the items that have not been sorted. So essentially, you put the item inside this chest, you can do stone, you can do grass, you can even do redstone. And as you can see, they are being sorted through the system and they're ending up in the chest. Now, it's gonna be kinda hard to sort absolutely every single item in the game, so you can have these for specific items, and then a line of chests for items that have not been sorted. Or, if you don't have an item sorter for that specific item, it'll go in this. So, I do not have the system set to sort gold ore, so if I go ahead and put gold ore in here, it'll go through all these hoppers, say, oh, wait a minute, I'm not meant to go in any of these sorters. <laughs> so then it'll find its way into this chest. Now how it gets there is it travels along here and it doesn't get detected by anything. So then it gets put in this hopper and this hopper is about to put it into this chest when this hopper takes it from that hopper before it can and then it, that's a chain reaction all the way down to here. There's nothing beneath it so it puts it in here. The hopper beneath the hopper will always take the item before the hop above it can actually do something with it. So that's how this works. Okay now for the tutorial. So for this design you will need five hoppers. 3 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 1 redstone repeater, 1 redstone comparator, and 4 chests. But, if you want to make more than just one item sorting module, so as you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sorters right here. Now the items for one module itself, including the hoppers, are 4 hoppers, 3 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 1 redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, and two chests. And then any block you need for your redstone to go on, and then how many blocks you need for decoration. As you can see, I went from kind of a bow tie man-ish theme right here, but you can go however you want. Link to his channel in the description. This channel was actually mostly inspired by him. Okay, so first we need to figure out where our floor is going to be. So uh, I've laid out two blocks right here, and our item sort is gonna be on that side. Our input chest is going to be right here. This is what input chest is going to be. So you don't have to do this, but I just like to do a little bit of decoration. So there we go. Now our double chests are going to be right here. Now this side is actually going to be where we have the extra, or the items that don't get sorted. So put a hopper going into this bottom chest right here, and have that all the way up. Now, if you're making like a 10 modular, then you're going to have this all the way at the end. Then you're going to have a line of hoppers going in to this chest right here. If you have a long line, then it's going to have to be, be longer, but in this case, just two, so we're going to have it just like that. This is one modular, so essentially you're going to be building multiple of these. 
Now, where this hopper is facing that direction, you're going to place a temporary block here, one out, move that temporary block, and place a hopper going into that temporary block. Then place another block down, and remove this temporary block, that was temporary by the way. <laughs> place the redstone comparator here, two blocks out, redstone dust on both of those blocks, a temporary block here, one out, one down, and one here, remove this temporary block, and place a redstone dust right here. Redstone repeater right here, and redstone torch right here. Then place your hoppers going into this chest, and then one right here. That is one modular. Now, say we wanted to make this a five item sorter, and then have a little dump out area at the end. So I've extended the floor a little bit more, so this is where the chest is going to be. We're going to line up our chest right here. And at the end, we're going to stack them. You can stack them until they're one block lower than that chest over there. Then put the hoppers going into it. Line of hoppers over here. Make sure it is connecting. Then make multiple of the modulars that I showed you earlier. Or we can just do it like this. Place hoppers going into these chests like this. More hoppers going into the chest. Line of blocks like this. A line of blocks like this, repeaters like this, more blocks, more blocks, more blocks, and more blocks. And you want to put in your redstone torches. Make sure all of your redstone repeaters are set to one tick so you can just do what I did and come over here and you can make sure they're all at it because if they're not then you'll be able to see. Redstone comparators like this. Dust on all of these blocks. And then hoppers going into your resident comparators. Then do some decoration, because this looks horrible. Much better. You can kind of see a crack at the bottom of your chest, so you can also place some decoration blocks down here. And there we go, we have the circuit done, but now we actually have to make the item sorter sort the items that we want it to sort. Now how do we do that? So for every item you want to sort, you want to make sure you have 45 of them. You can click on your hopper and you're going to place them like this and then there should be 41 and you can place it right here. There's always an item that gets stuck in the bottom hopper. So what you might want to do is you might want to get one extra of your item and you might want to put it in there and it'll go back to 41. And it'll be storing it inside this chest. Chest, that's great. Inside this hopper right here. So now you want to do that with every single one. And then, like I said, you can put one extra item in all of them. So there we go! There is our extremely easy item sorter, completely finished, functioning and working. Now if you're curious how I got these blocks of quartz right here in the chest to open, these aren't actually blocks of quartz, the quartz stairs. They just look like blocks of quartz from that side. So you can do some tricky stuff like that to make it look like it's a block when it's actually it's not, so you can do what I did. Or you can forget the decorating and just have it look like this. That's your choice. So there we go. I hope you guys did like this video or like this design. If you guys did, then please leave a like. And if you loved it, then please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload some more content. And don't forget to comment down below saying what you'd like me to build next in Minecraft. And you will have a shout out. Also, if you subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment saying you subscribe so I know who subscribes so I can give you a shout out. And if you have a YouTube channel, YouTube channel will be linked in that shout out. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Also, tell me what you think about my official outro. Bye! <laughs>